great Saturday evening. I hope you had a beautiful, wonderful, productive day and enjoying the blessings of the Lord and His sunshine. Yes, He is faithful. And, you know, you might have watched the homegoing service of Prince Philip in yeah, the Duke of Edinburgh. I remember, was it three years ago, three or four years ago, <laughs> where I woke him up to watch the royal wedding. I just thought it was beautiful. I just thought, you know, it was history and just to celebrate love, you know, just a natural romantic. Well, the same thing today was celebrating a legacy of love, 73 years. To God be the glory of that love story. And we know that they had their hiccups, they had their difficulties, challenges, but God blessed their union. And I was so happy to see the two brothers walk together. God can restore any relationship. He can bring peace, he can bring forgiveness, in any fractured situation yeah he can restore yes he can and he can restore what the canker worm or the enemy has stolen for years and return so much that we would be able to shed our mourning clothes with the you mourning our sad our sackcloth and put on an oil of gladness and joy so let's look to the Lord. We are in the 23rd chapter of 1 Samuel and Saul is just in hot pursuit of David. He just, that's all he did. Excuse me. He was just obsessed with catching him. And it says in verse four, David inquired of the Lord and he asked the Lord, should we go down and fight the Philistines to protect the folks at Keilah? And the Lord answered and says, Arise, go down, for I will deliver the Philistines into thine hand. You might have a question this evening, and you're like, how can I decipher or understand what the Lord is telling me? He will make it plain. Like I said, the more time we spend in his presence, relationship, it becomes familiar. He'll impress upon our heart. He'll give it such a peace and he will direct us that if you just look back and be like, oh, it was the hand of the Lord, the hand of the Lord. I don't know what difficulties you might have this, this weekend, but give it to the Lord. Yeah, seek him and his strength forevermore. And look, Saul was not seeking the Lord. He was seeking David every day. It says in verse 14, and David abode in the wilderness and strongholds and remained in a mountain in the wilderness of Ziph. And Saul sought him every day. That became an obsession. No, we're not to seek someone else or seek an object or seek any entity. No, seek the Lord and his strength. And it says, when Saul was seeking David every day, mm -mm, God protected David. It says, but God delivered him not into his hand. And God will do that for us as we, as we put him first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added to you. Amen. And one other verse in verse 22. Go, I pray you, prepare yet and know and see his place where his haunt is and who has seen him. Therefore, it is told that he did live very subtly. Saul was talking about chasing David and he was like, he, he's subtle, su subtle. He's very clever. And we know that David had those attributes. He was a man of war. He was courageous. He was good looking. He was a man well-spoken. He was intelligent. Most of all, he had the anointing of the Lord. The Lord was with him. What do you have to say about that? Those are some good attributes. And I don't know if you saw on the casket today, Prince Philip, 
<laughs> Did you see what was on top of the casket? <laughs> his military cap, right, and then his sword. So he was a warrior too. He was a warrior and he was, I believe, a man of faith. That's what will last. Having the Lord fight your battles and he will deliver your enemies into your hand and you will see victory as we listen to him, as we seek him first and nothing else. All right, Proverbs 17. Is there a scripture that spoke to you, son? Proverbs 17. Well, I got to say, whoever forgives an offense seeks love. That's verse 9. But whoever keeps bringing up the issue separates the closest of friends. I'm praying for restoration and reconciliation of those two brothers. Like I said, that they can be a witness to the world because everybody was watching and all the accusations, mm -mm, life is too short. And funerals have a way of breaking up families, tearing them apart, but they can also bring back uh, loved ones and say, you know what, it's not worth it. You know, life is just a vapor and we're here for a moment and gone the next. So let's uh, forgive one another. What do you have to say about that? Let those, let those alts go. Let those grudges go. Mm -mm. And enjoy a sweet fellowship and peace and know that God will guide us and direct us and he'll get the glory and we'll enjoy some of the goodness that he has for us while we're here. All right, have a good evening. Enjoy the peace of the Lord.